So a couple days ago, I showed you what all of these different heads, not all of them, but a big majority of them, what they sound like through the same cabinet, same mic setup, and how, I mean, there is some difference in them, but they're not as big of a difference as you would generally think. Like running this Vox amp with that cabinet, with those speakers is gonna sound a lot different. The way I really want to kind of show you, there's, there's not, there's so many different ways to mic things. That's, that's really the hard thing. There's so many different ways to mic things that you can make a Vox sound pretty martially and a Marshall sound pretty boxy, which is kind of weird, but it you know, depends on what types of mics you're using. It depends on what types of, I mean, just there's so many different things. Plugins and EQ and preamps and all kinds of stuff. You can really kind of polish turds, if you, so to speak. I don't like to do that. I like to give reality. So what, what I want to do, the best way I, I've, I've messed around with miking stuff all morning and the best way I think is going to give an accurate view of what the amp sounds like, at least in the room, like to the guy that's standing 10 feet in front of the amp or whatever, is to actually use the camera mic, the condenser that's on the camera, and kind of get a somewhat accurate representation even though it's not a great mic and it's not a great tone. It's not polishing it up any. I think what I wanted to do today is show you what each of these amps sound like cranked with their respective cabinet when possible. So, you know, I have the orange there and the orange cabinet over there. We've got the twin here. We've got the Lux here. We've got the Shaw Plexi here. Marshall cabinet back there. And of course the Vox, the Dr. Z. Using that mic is going to give an accurate representation of it. Let's do that. First thing I'm going to do though, is I'm actually going to run into this Vox AC30. I guess it's technically a hand wired amp, but it's still like mass produced or whatever. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Some people that makes a big difference. Some people it doesn't. And uh, again, I'll go through the normal channel first, then I'll go through the bright channel. See what that sounds like. So you can hear me over the hum of the loud amp. This is the normal channel. Les Paul, here we go, cranked up. That's really, really, really loud in here. So, uh, in fact, that's killing my ears. So that's all I'm gonna play through that amp. You can compare that to yesterday's or the other day's vlog and see uh, just how that compares to it. It's different. Uh, let's try the Top Boost channel. It's gonna be really loud. better it's an improvement at least to me to my ears in this room with this amp cabinet and what speakers what speakers are in this that amp actually has uh marshall greenbacks marshall greenbacks celestian greenbacks as celestian greenback marshall doesn't make a greenback celestian does pretty cool sound i'm not going to go through the motion of taking out the speakers and putting out it goes in just so you can hear the difference because that would take a little bit and I don't, today I don't have a whole lot of time, so. Vox, bright channel, and now let's go to, let's see, let's go through the Shaw. Let's go through the Shaw, which is like a plexi style, into the Marshall cabinet, and, uh, and get that sound. Let's do it. Okay, this is gonna be really, 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 really loud. I try to protect my hearing, so don't, ever do this at home like never one you're probably gonna get kicked out of your house two if you're married your wife's probably gonna leave you well maybe not she just made like make you sleep on the couch three it's probably gonna screw up your ears bad it's fun for a minute but it's not fun for a long time because it hurts so let's flip on let's turn on to plexi 100 watts and it's really loud Got the deluxe reverb in place. Let's plug it in. Normal channel, where'd my pick go? Normal channel, tens all the way across. Now that's really bright. I'm gonna turn some of that treble down. That's 
like a good... Something like that be cool to it. Take some flub out, roll the bottom in. Now keep in mind, like this is all because of this cabinet, this speaker. Like in my favorite world, I would probably probably try to find an old deluxe, really. Uh, if not, I probably would make a new cabinet, at least a good cabinet. I don't, I'm not sure how great this is made, but it's okay. It's okay for the money. Uh, the speaker, what do I put in here? I think I have, I think I have a WGS Veteran 30 in it. That's the deluxe reverb. Now, how about, how about the, let's say the Dr. Z. No, no, let's go with the twin because it's, you know, the big brother of the deluxe. That's a heavy amp, man. It's a twin, like 70 pounds, 700 pounds. It's like it has a bag of concrete in it. Okay, normal channel, tens all the way up on the normal channel. Bright switch doesn't matter because where it's at in the, in the placement of the circuit, bright, the cap that makes it bright is actually, for all intents and purposes, out of the circuit when the volume's all the way up. This is gonna be loud too. Kind of Jonas that one up there, didn't I? Let's go with the Dr. Z. Alright. Got the Dr. Z turned on. Volume up. EQ about noon. Reverb down. Cut at about 11 or so. That noise, I think I might have a bad tube socket or something. Maybe a bad preamp tube. I don't know, sometimes it acts up, sometimes it doesn't. It decided to act up today, and I'm not gonna fix it right today, because I got a lot of things to do. So, just kind of deal with the noise for just a minute. I'm gonna turn the bass up a little more, and see what that sounds like. That's the Dr. Z with its crackling and everything. I really need to fix that. I really need to find some time to fix that. Next, let's go with the Orange Rocker Verb 50. All right, Orange Rocker Verb 50 on the clean channel. Basically, the EQ controls are dimed, except I think I have the bass backed up about one o'clock or so. On the clean channel, of course. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea, hopefully with the sound of the other camera and you know each individual amp with its, with its cabinet. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an idea of how the speaker, how the cabinet itself really plays into a big part of the tone. You know, taking a deluxe, the, the deluxe head and running it through a Marshall 412, it's completely different. I mean, still great sounding, it's just a, a different sound and it's still cool in its own right. If you have multiple amps and cabinets, I highly suggest messing around with them. Not electronically, of course, but you know, 
plug one of your amps, the output of the speaker, into a different cabinet and see what you think. And uh, you know, really changing speakers makes a huge impact too. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Make sure you comment below if you like this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure you comment below as well. We'll see you in a couple days.